Everyone, especially kids, love to create an object that they can touch, show friends, display in the hall, or hang on the fridge. SketchUp gives us the tools to create images for print and email. We also have the ability to create animations for email, or even creating DVDs or sharing on YouTube. Furthermore, we are able to share our digital SketchUp creations with the world through the 3D Warehouse. Now that we have created a real project in SketchUp, let's share it with the world. First, let's create a snapshot or photograph of this 3D model. Navigate to a view that you like, and we'll choose File, Export, 2D Graphic. Now, when we choose that, we need to give our snapshot or our 2D graphic a name. I'm going to call mine Schoolhouse, and we're going to save that into our SketchUp Basics class files. We also have some options. Mine are going to look a little bit different than yours because I'm on the Pro version. If you're using the free version, you can only export up to your screen resolution or your view size. So I'm just going to choose that. OK, everything looks good there, and then Export. So now we've taken a snapshot of this view. Make sure that you pay attention to where you're saving that snapshot so that you can track that down later. Now let's take a look at how we can create an animation. If we go to Window, Scenes, and open up our Scenes dialog box. So what we're going to do is create a scene right here by clicking on this plus sign. We'll add a scene there. And then we're going to orbit to the other side of our model, like this. And then let's just add another scene. So a scene contains all of these different properties here, such as camera location, hidden geometry, visible layers. So all, all of these properties are saved with the scene. Right now, we're only concerned about the camera view. So if you notice what happens when I click back on scene one, we get an animation flying from scene one to scene two. So we can always animate in between our scenes. Our animation speed can be controlled under Window Model Info. And we can go to our Animation tab. And you see here we have our scene transitions are enabled. And we only have one and a half seconds in between each scene. So if we increase that to, say, four seconds, the camera is going to slow down because it's going to take a little bit longer to get there. So now when I click on my scenes, it's just a little bit slower a little bit easier to watch. Now, to export an animation, we can go to File, Export, Animation. And we get some similar options in here if we click on this Options dialog at the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, your, your resolution settings are going to be limited. Uh, we're not going to touch these right now. Everything should be fine. And we'll choose OK. And then I'm going to title this Schoolhouse. And we're going to choose a AVI file. That's just fine. And we'll choose Export. And if you're on a Mac, you might get a, uh, you will be exporting an MOV file. Uh, very similar concept here. Now again, be sure you, you're paying attention as to where you're saving that uh, animation file so that you can track that down and watch it. All right, so we can close out of our Scenes dialog box. Now let's share our 3D model with the entire world by posting it on a 3D warehouse. In order to post a model to the 3D warehouse, we do need to have a Google account, and you do need to be signed into that. So uh, we'll see as we go along if we need to do that. Uh, you might be prompted to either sign in with your basically a Gmail account or create your own new Google account. So let's go to File, 3D Warehouse, and choose Share Model. At this point, you want to sign into your Google account, or if you do not have a Google account, you go ahead and create that and then sign in after you've created your account. So I'm going to sign in with my account. And I'll choose to keep signed in on this computer. Okay, so now you can see we can add a model title, so I'll call this Schoolhouse. We can insert a model description, which is required as well. So I'll say this is my model of a schoolhouse for EDU SketchUp Basics. And then we can also add keywords. 
So this will help other SketchUp users track down your model. So uh, you could use something like schoolhouse, school, additional content, if you'd like to add a website to send people to, or add a logo. So there's some additional content you can uh, post in there, and we'll choose upload. So now this will ask us, uh, oftentimes it will ask us if we'd like to purge our model, and usually you would just say yes. Uh, this one's already pretty clean. All right, so now you can see that the model has been uploaded successfully, and here we have a snapshot of our schoolhouse model and at this point you could go in and you can always edit the details and add keywords or change the title and also you can set up your collections with you can also set up collections and organize your model within this 3D warehouse page if you click on the access tab you can control whether this model is publicly viewable which is preferred or you can make this model publicly editable so this means that anybody can open this model and change it so we'll leave that one checked off uh, also you can invite people as collaborators so you might invite other uh, teachers to collaborate on a model or you might even invite all of your students to collaborate on a model and then we have some advanced permissions down here so we can uh, go back to the model after we modify those